The division chief of emergency medicine at Children's Hospital sounding the alarm. He says too many kids are coming to the ER after ingesting cannabis. It's not just teenagers. KTV News Watch 7's Waverly Monroe shows how the hospital is working to educate parents to keep kids safe. Dr. Zeb Timmons says Children's Hospital Emergency Room has seen a dramatic increase of visits in all age groups and the side effects could land them in the ICU. Timmons says he started to notice the trend post pandemic, seeing three to four kids a week for cannabis related illnesses in recent years. Timmons says that represents a 283% increase from the five years before the pandemic. Increase in popularity of the edibles that mimic and look just like regular food products. Like there's ones that look like Doritos, there's ones that look like uh, nerd candies and things like that, has probably contributed to the increase in exploratory ingestions in our little kids because they see candy, they're gonna eat it. And when a child does come in, a children's social worker like Michelle Patton visits with parents. And so we just wanna make sure that we can give the best education from the medical provider and from social work standpoint and be able to give the best resources we can to keep everybody safe. Patton also gives the parents tools to lock up anything that can hurt their children. Well, we know that kids can climb and we know that kids are sneaky and we um, eat from littler kids to even older kids because we see kids older too getting into parents stuff. The hospital gives out these lock boxes for free. Being really diligent about making sure that those things aren't available to your kids is, is really important. Timmons says 20% of children are being admitted after ingesting the drugs. Sedating effects that the kids uh, need help support with their respiratory uh, uh, care, uh, such as oxygen, things like that. And in large, large doses, it can sometimes cause seizure and even coma. Zimmons says the goal is not to get parents in trouble. We want to be supportive of them and make sure that they understand the potential dangers of these things, how to keep their kids safe from it. Timmons says that children's will contact CPS if there's some type of abuse, but that's determined on a case-by-case -case basis. Waverly Monroe, KETV, Newswatch 7.